So, this is the weapons and some items right there. Now, if you want to take out the Metal Gear Solid, uh, this figure, the weapon or something, you gotta be careful with it because it's very sensitive. What the? Oh! Wow, I, I haven't. Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't know about this one. Well, guys, this is actually uh, a stand figure, which is actually for uh, for all the Medicom uh, figures, I think. And this is actually the stand. It is the circular thing. I don't know what's this. This is the base, and this is some weird claws actually right here. And uh, wow, I haven't noticed about this one. <laughs> well, this is actually for the figure, but I don't wanna. I don't wanna take this thing. The, the this thing out because I'm gonna keep this this plastic because in case in case anything happens I just gotta put this back you now that's for the future and now let's take a look at the weapons now, if you want to take out the weapons you gotta you gotta do from here so that if you take it because if you take it from here from the front I'm afraid that it will be break eventually because this kind of stuff is very very expensive but very sensitive. It's just like Mac. So I gotta be careful to open this thing up. And ouch. And ah, got it. Got the weapon. Now this is Solid Snake's M4 SOP model, or Old Snake, which is actually pretty cool, but uh, not so cool actually. Now why why call it not so cool? Well I'll tell you what. Everything is made of plastic. This doesn't do anything else. It's just stuck like that. It, it can move, it can you cannot expand it or minimizing it. You can't remove you can't remove this this light scope and even this. You can't. You can't even removing it. It's almost like everything is being glued. And yeah. But there's only one thing that is very interesting about this part, is this. It's actually unclippable. It's actually a clippable or unclippable magazine. Which is uh, very, very great. I have, I, have, I have the other M4 Pro, I mean the model, but it's not like this one. It's, uh, it's a normal, it's, it's, the, it's the normal, not so customized, it's just, it's just a default M4. So, I'm gonna put this at the back. And now for the handgun. Yes, I gotta do this because you know if I if I take it off from the front, I'm I'm very afraid that I'm gonna cry it out because it's very sensitive, but very expensive. Now, this is the gun. I don't know if this is Mark 23 or M19, but it does looks like M19 to you. Just look closer to this. See. It does looks like uh, um, this looks like M19 to me. Try to look closer on this on this side. It's like uh, yeah, it does looks like a uh, M1911, not Mark 23. I think it is. It's, it's M19. And uh, well, as usual, everything is plastic. You can't even taking off the clip, and you can't even taking off the scope, and you can't even do this either. See, I just tried to pull this thing off, but it can't. It's just done like that. It was pretty cool, as long as, uh, it's a very high quality. Yep, it's a very high quality and it's very detailed, and it's a greenish gun. It's actually a greenish gun, actually. And for the last accessory for this Metal Gear is this. The very final one. What? What, this one? It's very easy. You don't have to use it at the back. The final accessory is this, the CQC knife, which is actually very, very thin and bendable. See, you can even, see, you can even bend it right there. It's not very, very hard. It's very, very soft, which is actually, I really love it. But, but the only thing is about this, this knife is, uh, is that this, it's very pointy. You can see, ouch, damn, it hurts. It's uh, very pointy, so you can see it's, you can see how sharp this knife is. Even it's a, it's a toy, but it's very sharp, just like a real one. And it hurts my finger, very much. And that's all for 
the uh, for the figures accessories. Now let's see what happens if I put all these guns, including this Shikuchi knife, to Snake. So let's do that.